Hey everyone, Son of Beast here, and I'm Wood Spoonie, and this is NBA 2K24 on 2K Sports. Hey everybody, Son of Beast and Wood Spoonie are back. We are here for our next matchup of the NBA 2K24, and it's finally coming in close to the new year of 2024. Yes, that is correct, but we are seeing things right in between, so we got a little bit more days in 2023 left before we head into 2024 for our new year. That is right. Now, this next matchup we are about to be seeing, the one of our biggest matchups in ever of the Western and Eastern Conference matchup. As we're about to be seeing, the Sacramento Kings, and they are facing against the Cleveland Cavaliers. To start for the Sacramento Kings, we have the Aaron Fox, Kevin Herter, Harrison Barnes, Keegan Murray, and Domantas Bonus. On the other side for the Cavs is Darius Garland, Donovan Mitchell, DM for short, Max Struess, Evan Mobley, and Jared Allen. Now, as we're being right now, we're about to find out who's going to take the next win. What is your take here, Wood Spoonie? Hmm, gotta be a little bit hard this match, I gotta figure out who it is. So I'm gonna be going for all for D Donovan Mitchell, baby. That's what we all gonna go for. The Clean Cavs Town. That's what you gotta do, you just can't mess them up. <laughs> well, I know that, but actually, just make it feel like it is. What's your take? I'm gonna have to go with the Sacramento King. That the Sabonis has to do it for everything. Because he has to do is like, get their team back in the game. They've gotta do this one again. Well, let's see how this one goes. Because this might be a tough matchup. Nobody never knows how this is going to happen. Alright, so as of right now, standing in by, I have this Kevin Arlen along with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke will be the air one. And in halftime show coming up will be Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaq O'Neal in halftime show. And we'll see you all later for the post game show. Let's get started. Enjoy, guys. Hi everyone, time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brett Berry, this is Kevin Harlan. Our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Now Sacramento starting five. Herder and Barnes are your wingmen. Sabonis is the center with Murray next to him. And it's Fox in at the point guard position. And for the Cavaliers, of Fox and Garland. The big man on the guard. floor for him. Mobley and Allen. At the guard positions, it's Garland and Mitchell. And it's Cruz in at the three spot. You know, in the early stages of the season, Brent, what's something the front office is looking for in regards to their team? Well, I think it's all the strategy and time that went into building this roster. If those things are starting to show themselves, even small flashes of indications that the team is growing together and has the capability of getting where you want them to go. Now, here's Garland. And they pick there it is! Garland! Once he spotted that open area, up he went. Max Drews with the assist. Three pointer, Fox trains the three. The Aaron Fox for three. Early. Nice and so Garland will bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Allen kicks to Garland. Pass to Struess. Back to Garland. Here's Mobley. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. About one minute into the first quarter. Mitchell against Herter. Outside, Fox. On the wing, Barnes. Shot clock at five. Shoots. From out of the way, he knocks it down. Bears and You gotta have a player you can trust if you're gonna call a number that involves a pick and roll. Harrison Barnes making a good decision there. Boy, doesn't Mike Brown, GA, uh, deserve a lot of credit for the It's first first low foul, first team foul. Shooting for Sacramento, number five, Darren Fox, taking two shots. In terms of the 
confidence that he has to impact the game. Now it's about can he pick his spots, making sure that guys are involved. That's the next evolution of De'Aaron Fox. Well, good on that one. Well, J.B. Bickerstaff, Greg, has done a tremendous job in his time with this Cavaliers team. It has had him on the winning track since his first full season with the team. Really getting the most out of this roster. Not full of superstars, but full of guys who enjoy playing together. Even De'Aaron Fox has talked about how he's the fastest player in the league. The cool thing about it is night after night, he seems to prove it. Now, here's Bruce. 17 points in his last outing. Puts it up from 15. Donovan Mitchell! Seeing right through off the back iron. And he's not going to miss many of those, especially that wide open. No, he's automatic from the mid-range, and the defense knows that. It's a mistake to give up a shot like that. Here's Barnes. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, averages nearly 12 points a game. In the corner, Herder with it. A floater. Jared Allen grabs the miss. I'm not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. Spruce kicks to Mobley. Passes to Garland. seven points. And early on they've been nearly perfect from the floor. Just the one miss here on their first five attempts. Here's Fox. His second Aaron Fox. Start two for two. Almost perfect in the game to start three of four. Allen with the ball. Now guarded by Murray. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Picked him clean. Burger against Mitchell. Gets it to fall. Gavin Herder. Known for being a scorer, Herder is good at staying active and then looking to capitalize inside. To Garland. Darius! Garland! Evan Mobley with the assist. Covered at the round. Finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploding whatever holes that we're seeing right now in the defensive squad. Sabonis. Domantas Sabonis. Reverse. And Sabonis with the reward there for the hustle, picking up the scraps. There's the pass to Struz. Garland feeling it out a little bit. To the middle. Here's Mobley. Rejected by Murray. And that's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Well, Cavaliers ball. All right, a chance to check out stats for Donovan Mitchell. And he's tailed off in the last 10 games when it comes to his D. You can see his steals are down, but he's not playing with the intensity that he had to begin with. The coaching staffs got to get him motivated. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. Yeah, in that game, the offense was firing on all cylinders, partly because the other team's defense was a no-show. Yeah, with the defense struggling like that, I think they just stayed with a healthy, consistent pace to get that win. And the Cavaliers are going New substitution for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Number 12, Justin Thompson. From Number 32, Devin Wade. And Kara Silver. Number 35, Isaiah Coro. And number 33, Kara Silver. Chris Porte comes in for Barnes. Monks checked in for Kevin Herter. And Tavian Mitchell subbed in for De'Aaron Fox. Monk and Thompson sends it back. Shooter just can't help but throw that ball into Tristan Thompson's hand. Shot clock at six. Here's Monk. It's rebounded by Cleveland. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Kings. That one was played in Sacramento. Tristan Thompson from Darius Garland. Sometimes you can play good on-ball defense, but 
it's the help defense that makes you elite. And on that night, nobody rotating, and not a lot of help. Both Marys and Spring on Sacramento from Lyles. It's first Portugal five. The floor, not first team five. To be an illegal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Two minutes remaining in the first period. Two minutes. It's Wolford on the wing. And Thompson kicks the wing. Outside Garland. Shoots over Lyles. Thompson passes the wing. And it's sent back by Sabonis. Sabonis has to use good timing in order to block shots. That time he did. A shot by Monk is no good. Man, I thought he was making that in so close. That's an aggressive defense. We're at many no more of these second generation stars in the NBA right now, like DeMontis Sabonis. Yeah, unbelievable. Had a chance to play against his dad, who was about forced to be ready. Sacramento foul. Number 15, Ivan Mitchell. He's first personal foul. All -star Third team foul. Shooting for the Cavaliers, number three. Harris LeBurk. On a line, taking two shots. Now I have to tell you now, Kyle Slavert, I, I've got this feeling for him, he's, he's gotten really well, his, all his career height limits might be pushing for the limits for himself, you know, I, I just got to tell you, this is a lot of uh, courtesy that they are doing this a lot here, so there might be a lot of a change out there, Kevin, it's going to be a lot of a challenge, to make that one feel comfortable straight away, exactly true. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. Talk about guys, Brad, who can fill those gaps out on the floor. How about Trey Lyles? Trey just getting more and more comfortable at carving out that reliable role player. Not only is this guy smart, he's also fearless. He'll throw himself into the game. And it's waiting with the ball for Cleveland. Master Coro. Back to Garland. Over Monk. And there's Garland. Yeah. From Icy Cora. They time it right, they can end this quarter with a two for one. And that's how you want. Defense! Defense! Here's Sabonis. And another shot. Back to Mitchell. Out of bounds. Game's ball. Third drop on the floor. Number 20. George Yang. Shot block violation. Cavs ball. Did not get off a shot before second violation. In the game against Orlando, very impressive. Passes it to Levert. Here's Niang. Shoots over Lyles. That's the end of the first quarter. Cleveland Cavaliers, 16. And Sacramento Kings, 12. Showing no signs of the team. Right back after this break. And if you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. What stands out to you from the Cavaliers in this one? Well, their effort on the defensive end has set the tone for this game. Yeah, defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end.
the Kings trail by four. They've got Mitchell. Niang out there with that one. Then it's Max Struess and it's LaVert. Gavin Roto for three. For Cleveland going right now here in the second. And you think of height as an advantage in basketball, but great the versatility at such a premium. Can you be too tall in today's NBA? It's a valid question. The, the two biggest concerns for set footers are mobility and durability. To move the way they need to puts a lot of strain on those lower extremities. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Here's Mitchell. Talked about that win against the Magic. He was definitely a major factor as well. Avert the pass to Allen. And it's held in by Lyle. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Cavaliers leading. Niang finds Allen. Here's Mitchell. That's tipped. That, that's a big boost defensively if Herter can get in there and block shots and intimidate in some way. Mitchell with it. Now guarded by Fox. Six on the shot clock. A three from Struess. It's going by Struess. The pointer will hurt. Shoots the three. Three carrots. Four now for the can. George Yang. Fast Lions. Herder against Levert. Kevin Herder. Herder's got seven points. Focused shot there and a tough one. Give Herder credit. Pass to Levert. And here is Allen, covered by Lions. Allen kicks to Niang. Pulls up on the wing. And it's Drews missing. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Herder passes to Lyons. Here's Fox. It's good. Aaron Fox. Eight points for him. Fox getting in. Nifty scoring there. Not hesitating inside. Allen outside. Pass to Struess. Puts it up from 12. Jump shot is Max Struess. And the Cavaliers lead by two. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Well, Coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort got burned on that one. Now here's Murray. He has yet to score. Second shot opportunity, and he sinks the layup. Yeah, Murray. Murray's got it all tied up now for Sacramento. They are just killing him on the interior. Niang kicks to Struess. Pass to Niang. Back to Mitchell. And Donovan! Mitchell! George Niang with the assist. To grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. And Greg, you talk about rim protection. Cleveland can really shut down the lane, can't they? Yeah, I mean, they have the personality to do it. Big front court and front guards and teams and ball handlers. 10 points in the win against Orlando. Herder against Harris! Good, and the assist goes to Lumber! Now it's a four point Cavalier lead, and it's Fox with the ball. Defense! So, the Defense! In the last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. And that was a tough one. They expected to play well and did just not well enough. Categorically, you look at that box score from that last game, and they outplayed their opponent in so many areas. I thought it was going to at least come down to a closer beat. Cleveland foul, number one, Max Schuess. His first personal foul, second team foul. Thank you, Kevin. De'Aaron Fox is the line for the Kings. De'Aaron Murray, front of line, shooting two. The part about Fox is he's just starting to scratch the surface of who will end up being in this league. His feel and skill set are both off the charts. His speed is unbelievable, and his ability to get his own shots at his size is second to none. Kevin? David, I agree. He is special. Hey, thanks for the report. 
the first free throw is good. New substitution for the Cleveland Cavaliers. About Keegan Murray's potential. He can shoot the ball, he rebounds it. If this guy continues to be a TV, Desmond Wade. The number four, Evan Mobley. And it's a completely number 12, Tristan Thompson. Number 10, substitution. Here is Sterling. And number 35, Isaac Okoro. Chris Duarte comes in for Harrison Barnes. Monks checked in for Kevin Herter. And Davian Mitchell subbed in for Fox. And the versatility around Murray gets intriguing. The young forward with plenty of upside. Garland, the pass to Mobley. Looks it on to Garland. It's Darius! Scarlett! Evan Mobley with the assist. Very crisply here. Now, here's Monk. Guarded closely. Mitchell wide open. Again, the miss by the King. Cleveland leading by five. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Marlon finds Wade. Cavaliers moving the ball around. Mobley right side. And there's the pass to Okoro. To Mobley. And there. Darius! Garland! Evan Mobley with the assist. He's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. You know, Greg, it's nice to have a big man like Mobley out on the floor with all the... Defense! Defense! His skill set for Scepter really diverse in terms of what he brings to the table. And then you hear so much praise for his attitude and then his feel for the game. Offensive foul. Wanted yeah. O'Reilly Mitchell. His second personal foul. I will give him three. Quick one ball. Has something to keep an eye on, guys. Cavaliers have gone 6 and 12 in the second quarter, right at the 50% mark from the field. Garland kicks to Wade. The dish to Thompson. Now, Okoro, still without a basket. Thompson passes to Wade. Thompson and Tristan Thompson! And he makes that one. Here are Wade, he sits. And nine now for the Cavs. Sacramento's gone one of four from three point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for that. Here's Mitchell and Thompson sends it back. Out of bounds. King's ball. against Mobley. Six to shoot. Here's Duarte. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got four rebounds in this game. Garland kicks to Okoro. Back to Garland. Pass to Okoro. Inside. Here's Thompson. That's Christian Thompson. Isaac Okoro with the assist. He gets scored on during this run. It's come from inside the paint. Mitchell outside. Shoots over Garland. And that's the end of the first half. Cleveland Cavaliers, 33. And Sacramento Kings, 22. Holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. Their defense has been active and effective. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Tristan. What was most important for the team and for yourself? Uh, defense is going to win games for us, so you know, we're definitely stressing on that, but our offense will just continue to refine my game and say, go out there and compete. We know you'll be ready, Tristan. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. The first quarter for the Cavaliers was fairly even. And trying as they might, they couldn't push their lead past four points. 
They looked firmly in control in the second, carving out a healthy 11-point lead. What do you think, Shaq, about Cleveland? The production they've gotten from their bench has been phenomenalistic. That's a word by the South. As we know, depth is important to any team's success. They're demonstrating that tonight. And who knows, it might get the start as a kick in the pants. No one wants to be outshined. And Kenny, your take on Sacramento. Hey, Ernie, it's not hard to see the market down. They're not even shooting 35% from the field. They've got to come up with some new wrinkles. If they can create better shots, then they have a better chance. And that's going to do it for us here. Second half of action is coming your way. You've been watching the 2K Sports Hot Time Show. The second half of us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. We're seeing a tremendous game here, guys, from Darius Garland. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. On the court for Sacramento, Sabonis is the center with Murray next to him. Fox in the backcourt with Murray to his side. And it's Barnes with the small forward. Now, here is Garland. Following the best shot by Sabonis. There he is! Garland! Christian Thompson with the assist. Picking them apart with their passing. Fox passes to Sabonis. Over Thompson. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. They get the take on the Heat at Miami after this one. Sets in motion a four-game road trip for him. Mobley finds Garland. Down low. Fouls on Sacramento. So the other times is the Vantus opponents is first. Thompson's out there his weight around. And a line for the Cavaliers. Number 12, Tristan Thompson. Not the best. Staking two shots. In terms of his performance at the line, very low numbers. That free throw, no good. Tristan Thompson is one of the best offensive rebounders in the NBA. So to do that, you can't be afraid to throw your way around. No luck that time either. The Kings trail by 13. They can use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. and Barnes. Right now, they need a basket. Attacking is one thing, but body control another. And Harrison Barnes showing you that on that play. Now, oh, here's Mitchell. Averaging around 27 and a half points a game. One of the best in the league. And Thompson kicks to Mitchell. And here's Cruz. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Here's Thompson. Sabonis grabs the ball. Sabonis has got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Fox. Here we go. The Aaron Fox. With the jam. Just, uh, play control. Uh, we have the Aaron Fox cleared for takeoff. Thompson outside. Garland the pass to Struce. Over Barnes. And that one goes long. Well, that's the only way to take him out of his comfort zone from that range. Get right up in the jersey, force him off the spot. Cleveland leading by nine. No one gets into the NBA easily. Brett, we know that. But Max Bruce really had an uphill battle. Cleveland foul, number 45, Donovan Mitchell. It's for his personal foul. 14 foul. Two for Sacramento. Number 40, Harrison Barnes. Taking two shots. The Kings have split their two shows right down the middle so far. They're two for two. And in terms of team members, 
the free throw percentage is right at 74. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Barnes. And Barnes, one of those guys that every team would love to have. He just has a workmanlike attitude. He's a position for the Cleveland Cavaliers, number 31. Checked in. Jared Allen. He's checked in for Sacramento. Barnes hits a goal. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Pass to Struz. Back to Garland. Shoots over Fox. There he is, Garland. Garland. Uh, Max Struz, 56. Uh, Garland started the game at 6-1, but the way he's playing now, he's got to be feeling 7 feet tall. Garland against Fox. Domantas supports, assisted from De'Aaron Fox. From Savonis. And yeah, that tells the tale here today, guys. Throughout this game, he's been able to get the ball in tight and finish. Now, here's Mobley. No scoring in this one. And a deep three from Garland. Can't connect from long distance. And it's Fox with the ball for Sacramento. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Well, thank you, Kevin. After a fantastic first season under coach Mike Brown, teams are ready for bigger and better things in year two. Brown said, this is probably the first opportunity I've had. There it is! Scotland! From Donovan Mitchell, in the six. In the right direction. There wasn't going to be much pushback because they were... Time out, Sacramento! In direction. He placed that responsibility, Kevin. I like that. Yeah, he has embraced it. Good stuff, David, and thank you for the report. Time out, it's called. First of the game for Sacramento. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. The NBA on 2K Sports is brought to you by American Express. Don't live life without it. Sour Patch Kids. And by State Farm. Call or get a free quote now at 1-800-STATE-FARM. It has been a close battle right now as the Sacramento is trailing by nine over Cleveland Cavaliers with the lead. What it takes to score is all it does turn out. How does this one keep on rolling here, of Sports Goody? Well, I must tell you, they're going to get down a lot that hard to work on up and go faster and go harder. Might be a strong one to keep going in from here. Now, let's go for now. Let's go back to Kevin Harlan. Kevin? Now we can check out the standings out east already. We are in December. And you look at Cleveland. They reside in the seventh slot right now. Really New substitution for the Cavs. Cavaliers are on. Donovan Mitchell. And number the early part of this And the other side, number three, Karis Slipper. Based on their early returns, it's really hard to see that position changing very much from one direction or another. I see them as a team that's right there in the middle of the pack, but not one that's ready to make any leap this year. The Kings trail by nine. Now here's Herder. And they'll get another chance. Barnes passes to Lyles. Herder on the wing. Fires the three. Buries it from three point. Kevin Herder for three. Herder's got ten. That's what Herder does best. An absolute sniper from behind the arc. Passes it to Levert. Spruce against Barnes. Spruce kicks to Levert. On the wing, Mitchell. Over Fox. Donovan Mitchell! Levert. Mitchell's got his third bucket of the night. And this is routine for Mitchell. He doesn't need much space to feel comfortable. Elevate. Mobley comes with a double team. 
here's Fox driving in. It's rebounded by Cleveland. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. We keep Colton here. This, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Now, here's Fox. He's got 10. Here's the tear drop. He takes it up. And yeah, it. Fox. Fox has got four points. Two minutes four. remaining in the third quarter period. Two minutes. Got some space and then knock it down. Mobley right side. A pass to Levert. Back to Mobley. Looking for Allen. He gets it there. Jerry Allen. Got his first basket of the night. Hunter Mobley with his six. A minute 42 left to play in the third. Fox, the bounce pass. There's Wiles. Rebounded by Donovan Mitchell. That was a very intimidating, aggressive defense that really helped alter that shot. Allen passes to Spruce. Back to Allen. Pass to Levert. The three. Guys, how much easier a read is like that. Time out, Sacramento! Now a timeout called by Sacramento. You know what we do? Make some noise! Now, go back from here as we were going over this right now. I'm telling you that Sacramento wasn't really that proud to make that one feel like it's more comfortable from their team, from their hometown, and the fans already knew that they were already pushing their way into the playoff bound. This is a lot that difficult to maintain it in the California section. Well, it's really that tough, but you can't really say is, how tough are you gonna be able to go from here? Well, there's one way that they're gonna try to leave up the mark, and they're gonna make that one feel like they're on a pressure of the bound, to just try to do it again. Let me tell you this one, your son of peace. Because if there is a lot much time to go for for each play screens, this is going to be a lot that challenging to get right from here. And I know it's that a profitable and accuracy that motion is taking everything under control. You've got the power to do this. And there's always one way that Jared Allen has done it. It's a Saturn God. Oh <laughs> man, yeah. Yeah, I, I have to say because everybody is all around it. You're saying that there's all because of Tristan Thompson and Jared Allen. These are the best centers in the guard positions. Well, exactly they do, but we'll see how this one goes in. <laughs> well, do. Kevin, back to you. New substitution for the Cleveland Cavaliers, George Diane. Then for the Kings, Chris Duarte is checked in for Lyles. Malik Monk comes in for Kemba. Malik Monk. And it's Mitchell it's for the Aaron Fox. Give me a Mitchell. Mitchell. Gets room to shoot, especially inside. He's such a crafty guard who you want to see pulling the trigger from inside. Now, here's Mitchell. Six points for him. Isaac Decoro! Chances of the line. Sacramento foul, number three, Here's Tarante. It's for his first little foul. 17 foul. A line for the Cavaliers. Hearts of the Corps. Out the line, shooting one. Maurice checked in for Harrison Barnes. New substitution for the, for the Sacramento Kings, number 13, Dejante Murray. Seconds left in the third. Murray left side. Launches it. Good. Beyonce Murray for Mitchell. three. Murray's got this his second basket of the night. Carolyn and Murray. And NBA ready Mitchell. as a rookie. Murray could do damage from deep. Here's Allen. It's hauled in by the Kings. Sabonis has got rebound number eight now on the night. Mitchell passes to Murray. Out the base. Beyonce Murray. Eight points for King and this Murray. This he I mean, he knew exactly where that bounce pass had to be to create that opportunity. Lavert kicks to a Carl. Back to Lavert. Mitchell against Mitchell. Back to Lavert over Monk. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. It'll count. 
That's the end of the third quarter. Cleveland Cavaliers, 49. Sacramento Kings, 42. Well, it's going to be a close call in between there, son of a beast. You have no idea what's it going to be about. Well, you'll have to stay tuned with that. Four quarters, just one more left. We'll be right back with you after this. You're watching the 2K Sports of the NBA. The Cavaliers leading by seven. The wings set for Mitchell and a coral. Jared Allen is out there with Wade. Husband, Wade! Isaac Coral with the assist. Coral showing his ability to find an open teammate. Three first! The Cavaliers making the shot. Up for three. Rebound by Allen. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he should, despite the miss. No defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. Now here's Allen. Wade passes to Garland. Over Monk. Here's Allen. Doesn't go that top. Nice D from Sabonis. In the corner, Murray with it. Shoots. It's good. Deontay yeah, Murray. And into the shot clock. And you like Murray as a spot up shooter. Knows where to park himself. And always ready to receive the pass. Coro passes to Wade. Allen right side over Sabonis. That's Jared Allen. Kevin Wade with the assist. And for Sacramento, they're shooting a meager 37% of the game. To the inside, Mitchell. He's an up and in. Not a You got to take both. Mitchell's got his. Timeout. Cleveland. Game. And how about Mark there scanning the floor for the open teammate? That's how you develop. A trust from your team. Timeout called the Cavaliers. And after a rocky start to his career, it's safe to say that Malik Monk has found his footing in the league. And he's gotten some opportunities, Greg. And the fact is, this guy might be one of the more impactful bench scorers we have in the NBA. A spark plug, and he's trying to continue to expand this game. But man, in transition, this guy's tremendous. All right there. Looks like that Sacramento Kings is like pushing inbound, so we're going to take a huge break. And then we've got that one in common. Look out below. It looks like that the Kings are going to make that one feel loud. They're going to pressure it. They're going to feel like they're on the move. Back in action. Back to you, Kevin. Hopefully he's in. New substitution for the Cleveland Cavs. Then for the Kings, Harrison Barnes. Number one, Matt Stroops. Number four, Evan Mobley. And number 45, Donovan Mitchell. I now I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard J.B. Bickerstaff talking with his team. Now he told his guys not to get comfortable. He said, so we got a little breathing room. So what? That's no reason to slow down out there. Region foul for Cleveland. And we're 10. Darius Garland. His first personal foul. 16 foul. Cleveland on defense. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. I don't look here for more. Deontay Murray for three. Who picks up the assist. And that's 13 points for Keegan Murray. Garland gets to Allen. That shot is off. Nice D from Sabonis. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Three, five. I think he's been a positive. Herder, no good. And so it's Mobley now who brings it up for the Cavaliers. Four point game. Mitchell finds Allen. Allen with it, covered by Barnes. 17 foot shot. Darius! Garland's got 23. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Fox, no good. The Cavaliers leading by six to the paint. Jared Finish from J.A. Diamond Mitchell with the assist. From a very high percentage here. In just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. Three 
Deontay Murray for three. Now six for eight on the night. Now he's put on a shooting display here in the second half. He really seems to be in a great groove right now. Mobley dishes to Mitchell. And it's Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell. Points for Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mobley with these six. Move inside so difficult to contain when Mitchell's on the attack. Barnes outside. For three, Murray. The kick out to Barnes. Harrison Barnes for three. And that's back to back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Cartland against Fox. Cartland with it. Pass to Struce. Back, but that three is off the mark. Kind of rare to see any player have this much of a struggle from the field. But they still have the lead, shows how resilient they are as a complete team. The Cavaliers leading by four. Here's Barnes, and that one drops. Harrison Barnes. Barnes has got five points now this quarter. Harrison Barnes has been in some big ones, and that's a big shot. Here's Allen. It's two. The kind of passing right there that makes a difference, not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Now, here's Fox. In the corner, Murray with it. There's two corners off the mark. The Cavaliers have gone 6 of 11. Two minutes remain the fourth quarter. Two minutes. Garland, that's for two. Rebound by the Kings. Murray's got four rebounds in this game. Struz against Barnes. Here's Fox. Aaron Fox. This is their move. Timeout. Cleveland. They're up by two. 137 left in the fourth quarter. The NBA on 2K Sports is brought to you part by your local Kia dealers. In a moment, that inspires. AT&T 5G. Fast, reliable, and secure. And by Storylines. Looks like this is going to be a close game right now. The Sacramento Kings are answering it back. Coming up for, after a loss last season against the Milwaukee Bucks. They've already been like shutting them down already. And this was not that easy enough what they were going for. Do you think this will be a close game to go to overtime? Uh, I'm not really sure how this is going to happen like that. So we're going to have to find out what it is. Because if we get the next bucket, you're going to get that one here right away as soon as they can. And right now, we go back to Kevin Harlan to start and for a presentation of New Balance Player of the Game. Who do you have? And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Darius Garland. And he's just been crushing it from the field tonight, Kevin. Whether it's been on open looks or with the guys raked all over him, he just hadn't missed much. With his percentage in the sky-high range, they've had no choice but to make him their number one option on every trip. That'll be a five second ball. Five second violation. Stings there. Hurt so Speed much more to turn the ball over, especially with how tight the game is. Fox against Garland. To tie it up, and he gets the jump. Darius, Darren Fox. Fox has got the game tied up here for the Kings. Fox just found a little bit of space there, and he burned the defense. Garland against Fox. Curtis gets to Garland. Cleveland moving it around. 
Clock at six. And another miss by Cleveland. Didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that. Darren Fox. You gotta like how he hustled out on the perimeter. Darren Fox. Here's Cruz. After the basket by Darren Fox. Mobley finds Garland. Now, oh, here's Cruz. Outside Garland. Offline with his three. I think we'll see them burn the clock a bit here. Yeah, smart move. The Manchester Sabonis, Mr. Brock, Darren Fox. See down from this moment here, when the game is close, he kicks it up and out. Now, oh, here's Cruz. Oh, boy, the pass to Cruz. Here's LeBron. And he can't stop the run as he misses, and so they choose. Fouls on Cleveland. Number 31, Jared Allen. His second personal, second team foul. And Barnes has got the ball here for the Kings. And then stop. Gary Scarlett, his second for a team foul. She had a line for the Kings. Gary Fox, two shots. Two shots. It's the first, and they press it up by five. So against them both, it's a final timeout for Cleveland. Showing off a really smooth stroke there, and that will add to their lead. And the Cavaliers call time here. They're trailing by six. 23 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? There's still a sliver of hope. You act fast, but without mistakes. Seconds left in the fourth quarter. And that was a little bit of a range. Yeah. 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 Right yeah. 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 It's for a first goal. 14 foul. Maybe a little too flashy yeah. there. Yeah. for the Kings. Demand this And the line with two shots. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really want. He's Got one more though. Well, Sabonis is an unselfish player. You can see it in the actions out there on the floor. He's trying to get the best out of both himself and his teammates. He's able to hit the second one, and that makes it a seven point lead. And it's desperation time now. Doesn't matter if it's a Sacramento foul. Three. Number five, De'Aaron Fox. His first personal foul. First team foul. They're getting the shot up into the air while he's being fouled. The line for the Cleveland. Here's Scarland. That line shooting two shots. and that turns the lead to six. So good at getting his team Final substitution for the Sacramento Kings. A difference maker. Here's Brown. How it smiles lies. And David Mitchell. All three throws good from Garland. Here's Mitchell. And an intentional foul. Next yeah. yeah. Harlan. His forward personal foul. 15 foul. Shooting for Cap Lee. For the Kings. Aaron Fox. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. Two substitutions for the Sacramento Kings. Number 10, Demantis Abonis. Number 13, Deontay Murray. So now it's a seven point game. Good! Jerry Allen! Oh, Very scurrying! And he 
strikes the intentional foul. Leave a foul. Very strong. It's for first off. Team seconds. Shooting for Sacramento. De'Aaron Fox at a line for two shots. Drops the first one and increases their lead to six. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a seven point game. Here's Allen. No, that's the end of the game. Your final score of the game Sacramento 72 and Cleveland Cavs 65. This crowd was directing at them. I mean, they turned it around and used it as motivation to close out a significant win. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, DeMontis. I know it's early, but does it seem like this team's improving? Like we said, since game long, it's two, game three, and we just uh, need that time to start to uh, find that chemistry, and uh, as more games go on, more uh, practice days go on, uh, we just improve, you know, and uh, this team is hungry to be better, and uh, that's, that's what we're doing. Feels like you're building towards something special. Okay, rats. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. We'll see you next time. All right, thank you so much to Kevin Arlen. As right now, we go right into the team comparison, right between the Canes put an upset on the other side of a team. You know, that was always me. Oh, you've always been crushing me for some reason. i never seen how this one turned out like that. Well, it's with the point average of this one turned to be very high, intense work. But this wasn't not the only thing that everybody's been concerning of. Because of this one, this is turning out way big, and you felt like, is this going to happen before? Well, I better think this was going like, to be on a close game matchup, because that was a hard one, but they are doing it all over again. Here is a team comparison between 50% for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Three-pointers was only putting 39% of effort for the Kings, along with 79 free throws, 10 fast break points, 36 points in paint, 10 chance points for the second. Chance points for Sacramento. Bench points and assists goes up by 20 and 26 for Cleveland. Offensive and defensive rebounds puts 16 and 24. Five steals and blocks. That is craziness how they're going over it. Well, they must tell you they're going to get a lot that easy. Turnovers was only four. Team foul was only four for Sacramento. And three dunks for form. Biggest lead was on the other side of the team. It was 13 for Cavaliers. And time possession was 14.50 for Cleveland. Well, that is a tough one, and they're making out of luck for this moment. But they're going to need to try that one again. But hopefully, they're going to get that one hip out of there soon. And right now, let's present your three-star players to the game. I go first up. We got the first one to take all over the car. And this one is going to take on anything. Keegan Murray with 16 points, 4 rebounds, and 1 assist. Goes with 2 steals and a block. He is already, like, pushing inbound to clutch his way for his first playoff bound to go right from here. Did an excellent one. Not bad at all. Let's go to you, Wood Spoonie. The second star player on the other side as we go right towards from the other side. And you know I've been counting on, it's De'Aaron Fox. With 24 points, 3 assists. Two steals and 31 performance run. He had made 8 out of 15 field goals, one three-pointer, and had two dunks performed. He got great at it, put his pursuit, and then back in the fourth quarter, a comeback rally. I'll have your take here for number one. Alright, thanks so much. And your player of the game goes to Darius Garland with 25 points, 3 rebounds, only 31 percentage, 11 out of 17 field goal percentage, one three-pointer and four, and this is all it does turn out. He gotten really good to make the point guard. Got a lot of help out there, but not bad at all. He's going great. Props forever. I've just had to tell you, he's gotten great at it. You gotta keep that one up. 
And that will conclude for this game. If you enjoyed this one, please give it a like button. Also, you can subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social medias. Stay tuned for the next game as we will be heading into the new year in 2024 as the Nets take on against the Suns at Footprint Center. And with me and Wood Spoonie, this has been a presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA 2K24 dial. Be sure to head into my social media. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and X. Link in my about page. See you all again for the next game. Have a wonderful rest of your holidays and a new year. Until next time. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.